I'm not. I'm not cool. Like, I, no, I am. I am actually. I'm very cool. You are I, of the three of us. You were the coolest. Yeah, yeah hands we down. We know that. Yeah, but well, I mean, you don't have to agree, but it's true. Uh, absolutely. Because no, you should shot you just be a no, little humble. It is not yeah. even a question. It's true. It is Everybody true. knows. But okay, but just, you don't just even need it to say it. Just temper it a little. Absolutely. Maybe bring it and back it, a little. And you know what? It's a really easy to be that position of the coolest out of the three of us. You I'm guys never make the cool one. So easy. First of all, I'm never the cool one, so I don't even try. And I think in a weird way. That's, that's what makes me the coolest. I was, mm. uh, that was and you know what? I'm neither or, and in a weird way, that's what keeps me either or. <laughs> I'm just right there in the middle, man. You're always, you know what? The first time I met you, I was thinking, this guy's always in the middle, yeah. and he'll always be either or, neither nor. Yeah. And man, you you kill it. I'm a real Joseph Lieberman voting kind of guy. <laughs> um, no one calls him Joseph. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you about Pasadena. We're out here in Pasadena. To remember who that yeah. was. I, I want <laughs> you. <laughs> I want the listeners to know that we are out here in the night, in yeah. the nighttime, yeah. in the backyard, risking our lives. Matt Gorley's risking our lives. Yes, yeah. it took me an hour and forty minutes to get here. I'm wow. on my A game. And uh, I was in a hovercraft. Those things move. That's how fast. Uh, I believe that. The president may have been in town today because I passed a crazy number of motorcycle cops. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. Thank you for doing your research. Cool. <laughs> Fact checking. It'd be great if there was a news show and your job was to sit there drinking and go, I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> they say that in the election, Chile's new president will be Eduardo. I think that's right. I'm not joking. When you said Chili's, I thought you meant the restaurant. <laughs> No, that's that's great. I'm not even. Joking. You are just trash. I'm not trash. You are trash. You're a little trash. I'm not trashed. I'm not. Excuse me. You're I'm feeling not. no pain. How about that? I feel like I'm in a good place. If I yeah, drink a little too. more, like another glass. If you were still we're breastfeeding right now and you fed your kids, they'd both turn into Dean Martin immediately. <laughs> both your little, both your little one-year-old twins would have little fedora. Yeah. They'd go. They'd go to breastfeed. I'd look away for a second. I'd look back and they'd have little fedoras. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, how's it I going? Love that. I think I'm going to take another suck on this nipple. <laughs> I think I will too. Yeah. You know, this puts me in mind of a tune. <laughs> I thought you were going to play something. No, no, oh. no. Dean Where wouldn't play were the guitar. We? Uh... Where were we? How can I rely on you? You're supposed to be the anchor, Gorley, <laughs> and you're kind of messed up too. Well, I'm not messed up, I'm drunk. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I want to say that... We got your back. It yeah. is nice. Yeah. I was skeptical about this idea, first of all, because I didn't want to have to get my passport to come oh, all the way to Pasadena. Jesus. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's just a Pasadena. long way to go. Pasadena. Yeah, yeah, and you look up. But anyway, I figured out it's two hours ahead, so I know when to call my wife. And so I get here, um, and immediately I'm in a good mood. The minute I hit your house, your house is beautiful oh, I'm, I, and uh, gorgeous, and uh, your beautiful wife, your beautiful daughter. It's just lovely. And then we have this solo stove. Uh, right in the middle of our campfire. Yeah. Now, I Solo Stove does not like me bringing them up. They get embarrassed. Even but though I, they paid to be a sponsor for this. Please, I don't think they did. Oh. Okay. I didn't even know that. Okay. All I'm saying is I looked at this beautiful uh, device, which creates the perfect campfire. Oh, really yes. perfect. And there's nice. no smoke and very little work because ingeniously, they have little uh, air ducts. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> It's a beautifully, it's so, it's so well designed that even you can't screw it up, Gorley. Yeah, that's true. So our thanks to the good people at Solo for you know, providing us with this stove. Yeah. You know what Madges did right before we started recording? He put a thing in there and the color of the fire changed. Yeah. You know what? There's never been a less clear d definition of anything <laughs> by anybody. You know, I, you'd be great. It's it'd true. Be, I be, did that and I don't know what you said. It would be great. It would be great if... Sona was present at great events in history and had to explain what happened. Ford's Theater, April 14th, 1865. Bang, what happened? Sona's here. What is it, Sona? Oh, there was noise. Actor go, fall, run, hat, hat man down. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I don't know. What Sona was trying to say is that I think there's some kind of powder or something that you put in the fire that made a color. So Solo Stove mm -hmm. makes color packs, and they're these things that you just throw in, and then it changes the fire into different colors. Now, right. I'm kind of colorblind, so I take it on faith that these things are cool. It's it said at the bottom so of the pack, cool. wasted on Gourley. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of a lot of Manufacturers know, yeah. wasted on Gourley. Yeah. Are you really colorblind? I'm red-green colorblind. Yeah, I, wow. can't, I can't see red and green when they're how is, in how is patterns. That, how has that, do you think, 
changed you, well, altered your life. Christmas is a real bitch. Because you, know? you have a gray tree and Santa's just a what? Does Santa just look like a gray blob to you? Yeah, Santa just looks like, I don't know, like some post-apocalyptic wanderer. Yeah. 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 I can see red and green. I just can't see them in detailed patterns. They turn kind of brown and green and right. stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. But don't, you know, you didn't I'm, bring I'm that doing up. all right. You didn't bring that up during the interview. No, uh, I didn't. Because, you know, colors aren't really pivotal to podcasts. Well, they will be. What? They will be. Technology's changing. <laughs>